Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my channel is Sel Verde because my name is Celica and I like green. Um, as you see, I have some greenery right there. It's just some plants that I had um, picked off all the like brown leaves and rewatered before I have to move. Um, and this is me just getting the last bits of my kitchen. Well, it's not actually the last bits, but like I'm trying to organize some of it at least. Um, yeah, this is me just going through my things. And here's me washing a bowl to act like I'm really doing something. <laughs> but yeah, this is the night before I have to go to work. And at this time, my cousin Taylor is doing her homework. And she basically just finished her last week of school. And wow, I got back in that frame so fast because I am a superhero. And this is me just getting some stuff off my fridge and looking through some photos that... Uh, maybe my roommates or maybe mine because it was multiple copies in there and me just dancing along my way this is actually the next morning and here's me just testing out my camera this is the camera that my ex gave me so i was trying to see if if it was focusing and here's me just making my vegan matcha pancakes and with this recipe i actually got this recipe from pinterest um, but i added the matcha and added like my own like twist on it for example i use um, butter to grease the pan so that the uh, pancakes could have like that crispy outer ring and then I also add a splash of water so that there would be you know those yummy little holes in pancakes that catch the syrup um, for the whipped cream I use a coconut base uh, whipped cream from ready whip it's so delicious and I actually got everything that you see in here for this recipe is all from HB. Shout out to HB. I hope they sponsor me one day because I love them. Um, but yeah, uh, I just started making matcha pancakes like this year uh, because I will make like my regular pancakes. But um, one time uh, me and my roommates had a brunch and my friend made a uh, vegan whipped cream from scratch. And I made the matcha pancakes and we were like, oh, holy crap, this tastes amazing together, plus the strawberries. And here's me just drowning my pancake and syrup. And the sausage is uh, just beyond sausage, beyond breakfast sausages. But yeah, these pancakes were so yummy. Definitely recommend y'all try. Re recipe will also be in the description below. Okay right, guys, so um, I just recorded like a whole uh, like thing before I go into work. Hopefully I'm not late, but um, I, I think like I told you guys, um, how am I gonna enter it? Oh, okay, so right now I'm using my camera. My last video, um, I was using my phone and then my ex-boyfriend was like, oh, you should use the camera I got you instead. So <laughs> I just recorded this whole thing and I just realized that, um, I don't know what it's called, I don't know if it's aperture or something, but it was like very, very low and I was like, oh, maybe it's just recorded really low and then I can like edit it like maybe it's just a raw thing who knows but um now i'm re-recording because um now it looks better um and now i'm kind of sad because i just cooked those pancakes and everything and hopefully when i edit the edit me cooking it would look better because i was like why does the colors look so dim when i was showing the pancakes when they're really bright and vibrant because they're matcha pancakes but other than that, also excuse my room. I know that there's laundry back here. But um, again, like I told you guys, I'm in the process of moving. Um, but it's just been a thing because they keep pushing my move-in date. It has nothing to do with like our application or anything. It more so has to do with um, management at the place I'm moving to. So it's whatever, you know, places are understaffed and people are quitting gang you know i'm here for the great resign <laughs> basically but um i want to take you guys to work with me um i have a lot of paintings that are in my garage and i used to have a studio at this place and then um because i was our artist in residency our artist in residence and now since i'm working there again um, i was given a studio um and then uh so yeah i need to move my paintings there i realized that today's thursday so I'm going into work and since it's Thursday, sorry, since it's Thursday, uh, I have to upload a video today like I promised. So 
Um, this video is definitely gonna be well if you're watching now obviously it's uploaded later or like way at night see and also um, this is what I'm wearing to work I just well I didn't just get ready but um, I got ready then ate breakfast as you saw and right now I'm just wearing like my favorite freaking shirt I probably worn it a thousand times it's from Paxson and then I have these pants from these are my favorite pants because it makes me actually look like I have a bum but these pants are from Abercrombie and Fish or Abercrombie or whatever when I was working there because I got a discount. So I'm going to take you guys with me to work and hopefully my camera don't get messed up. So this is our garage. It's Somewhat spacious. I think you can only fit a uh, one car in here. To be honest, only one car. Um, so we gotta take this big thing over there. But I think my family's gonna help me out with that. Here are all these <laughs> paintings. Hopefully, and here's like a huge painting. But I'm gonna have to. It's actually like one whole painting from like here all the way to there. I'm actually gonna have to take the canvas off of the frame the wood frame and then place it in my studio so i'm not gonna do that today i'll probably like unhook it today after or maybe tonight i, I don't know at some point i'm gonna hook it before i move but yeah i gotta get all these paintings to my freaking studio i'm gonna try to take as much as i can i probably i'm not gonna be able to take like the really big ones but these down here i can so let's do that Okay, you guys, so here is the gallery where I have my studio space. And as you can see, it is so beautiful and bright and sunny, especially on this day. Um, but it is such a great space for um, exhibitions. This is actually where I had my solo exhibition and they have great events here and even workshops. And so, I would like to say my favorite part of the place is probably the chandeliers and these huge windows because it just lets in so much natural lighting and I love it. Then here is just my uh, studio space itself. A lot of people say it's pretty small, but it is actually an upgrade for me because I am used to painting in my room next to my bed. <laughs> so yeah, I, I will make do with this and it's actually a little bit bigger than my last studio space i want to say um and then here's me just bringing in my stuff like my easels and paintings from my car and i know it looks like i'm doing this super fast but i actually did this right before i had to work and i had to meet up with um some people for this event that was happening tonight and so i was trying to do this as fast as possible and I actually had to cut out a lot of time with me walking because I had to walk down like two flights of stairs to get this work and I wish I did this the day before because I was hella sweaty and was running out of breath. So I finally got everything up. Sorry for my breathing. Whew. But I wanted to show y'all what it looks like in here. It's very small. I probably should have mopped a sweep the floor before moving in but Whatever. Um, so there's one hallway, the next, and I gotta work in like five minutes, so <sighs> that's why I'm filming it while my breath is out. This is our little free art, little free supplies station area. We also have another studio, that's my old studio from when I was the artist in residence, but now we have a new one. His name, his name is Robert Kinsey. This is some of his work. And his solo show is coming up this September 10th. So, yeah, now I'm just gonna brew with some water and set up for work downstairs. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm sweating like crazy. Ooh, I got that glow though, look. <laughs> oh my gosh dude i'm gonna have to freaking dab myself up before i go to work dude look i am <sighs> okay y'all it's okay Ooh, yeah you can see 
Well, I'm about to get ready to work. We're gonna see where that um, middle line is between that third, those two thirds that we did. We're gonna find that middle line between them. And then we're gonna shoot rope right there with our lighter color. Once we finish that first stroke, right so I think it was Austin's Film Fest had um, rented out the space for Ray Wan, the instructor, to teach. And that was me just showing my little drink that they gave me in editing. Um, here's Ray Wan's uh, Instagram if you would like to follow them. And this was a very pleasing event. Um, they got to show them how to paint clouds and the landscape and um, everyone did such a great job. So this is me just like admiring everyone's work. Um, the whole time I had to like sit at my desk uh, cause you know, I didn't pay to participate or anything. So I was just watching from my desk as I was editing this video you are watching right now. Look how lovely that painting is. <laughs> So here I'm just making dinner for me and my cousin. I got some bedtime tea brewing and some Impossible Burgers cooking because me and her have been struggling to fall asleep. Um, yeah, we're trying to knock ourselves out. So we put a little bit of melatonin in there as well. And then for dessert, I just went ahead and make us, made us some Annie's uh, cinnamon rolls and we went to bed. Thank you for watching you guys. And I'll see you in my next vlog.